In this class, you'll learn how to apply the stretch action to increase the size of a block. Open the Drive Shaft DWG file to show how this action works. After the file is open, you'll start to create the dynamic block from an existing one. Do the following to insert the stretch action. Double click the active block in order to open the block editor. As you've learned from previous classes, you need to first insert a parameter. So now let's select the linear parameter button on the action parameter panel. Take a look at the other selectable parameters, such as polar, xy and point. After that, specify two points. Now define the stretch action to increase the length of the block. Let's return to the previous panel and click this button to select the action. After enabling the command to insert the action, you must do the following procedures to apply it. First, select the inserted parameter and then define the point associated with it. Finally, let's specify a box to define the stretched elements and then select the objects which will be modified. Click Test block to check if the procedure is successful. After selecting the block, you'll see the grip displayed as an arrow. Click this grip and drag it to change the length of the box. After that, click Close Test Block window to exit from the Block Edit Test interface. This is the easiest way to use the stretch command. But when you access the applied parameter properties, you'll see other ways to apply the stretch command. Let's work with the properties in the value set group now. None is selected as the default setting for the disk type to make the block behave the same way as before. Increment and list are other possible values here. Then when you select increment, you can specify a value for length changes in the disk increment option. Here, you also input minimum and maximum distances for blocks. Take a look at how the block behaves. Then, when you select the block and click the grip to drag, you will see a scale next to it. This scale defines the variations in the dist increment field. Now, when you select the list option, you will be able to specify a list of value options for defining the length. This is how the block length varies based on specified values. Click the Dist Value List option and fill in the data on the Reticence button to insert the values for the list of dimensions. 
insert the values in the distances to add field on the new screen. Separate each distance by a comma to insert multiple values. Then click Add, then OK to confirm. When you wish to test the block, you'll also see an interval scale based on the created list of values. So in this class, you've learned how to create scalable dynamic blocks enabled for changing object dimensions to stretch or shorten a geometry.